have you noticed that life tends to have these ebbs and flows and these changes of time that occur maybe regularly every year? Well, I'll share with you why this is and how to make the most of these times. Whenever I experienced this fall equinox, I found myself refreshed and excited. And if you're like me in that sense, you may actually have this understanding intuitively. As I was on my journey learning about astrology, I discovered these periods of time, these cycles of time. And we all grew up learning about the different times, right? You knew when summer was coming, you knew when winter was coming, and we had the summer solstice and the winter solstices. Now, those are usually paired with certain celebrations, depending on what culture you're in. But we also have the two equinoxes. And I never really understood what the equinox meant. Okay, well, whatever, the, the spring comes in, all right, that means summer is coming. And yeah, all right, fall is here, okay, I'm probably going back to school or the cool weather is going to show up. But the thing is, the equinoxes are actually really important that they're a really powerful time of the year. So in the fall, the autumn equinox arrives. And the autumn equinox is a really beautiful time of year. Now, for me, whenever I experienced this fall equinox, I found myself refreshed and excited. And if you're like me in that sense, you may actually have this understanding intuitively that that heat that built through the summer, all of that activity, all of the information, all of the fun, right, that I guess we were supposed to have had, it was time to let that go. Because think about what happens in our northern hemisphere while the leaves of the trees start to fall off. This is a time for you to look back at your life and to sloth off the old. Let it go. This is the best thing for you to do. And for me, whenever I really honored that, whenever I renewed myself as a person during the fall months, the happier I became, I became as I moved into the winter months. This is a turning point of time. This is uh, a time when the daylight hours and the nighttime hours are of equal length, but better said, it's a time when we move from the exertion and the projection forward that tends to come with the summer months, hi pumpkin, and we move towards those winter months. Now the winter months, those are times when the energy goes within. It's a time to get quieter and a time to tune within. So it's kind of interesting culturally that, uh, especially you know, in the United States, we move back into the school years or the school time <clears throat> during the time when we're actually supposed to be directing our energy within. So it is a time when things shift, when things change, and it is an okay time for you to tune within and to understand, okay, where have I been this year? What has been going on? What are those things that I'm ready to clear out? Because when an equinox arrives, this is a time of balance, and it's a time for you to rebalance your life. So this is something that the ancients have known for a long time. So I encourage you, each fall as the equinox comes around, use this time to look back, to create some balance in your life by releasing things that are no longer serving you. And as you do, you'll find more clarity and more ease as you move forward into the winter months a time for you to tune within and really rebuild, kind of hibernate and repair. So if you'd like to learn more about this, sign up for my newsletter. I send a weekly newsletter all about astrology to keep you up to date. I also offer astrology readings and I'd love
love to hear your experiences about the autumn months. What has happened for you? Leave a comment and be sure to subscribe.